Hello, Zebra Herd, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. And today, I want to be continuing on with our journey to show off more weapons. Now, this is actually a weapon I've bought and sort of recorded an episode for, but I ended up scrapping the episode because of technical difficulties, but it is the NZAP. There are two versions of the NZAP, and I don't have both of them. I only have you know, one specific one, which is the previous version. I'll talk about the NZAP and its cool history in relation to Nintendo and stuff, but for right now, let's get the weapon details of the NZAP 85. The NZAP 85 is a shooter with excellent ink efficiency and rapid fire capability. Its attack power isn't all that, but you can use its features to ink turf quickly as you pursue your opponents. Use the suction bombs to further stick it to the baddies, and as you close in on them, pop your ink armor and watch them squirm. This weapon is the very definition of reliable. I recommend it for the players who put a big emphasis on ink coverage. So yeah, we'll be using that today. Um, uh, can I equip it? Or, I admire de devotion, we already have that weapon. Uh, I guess I can't equip it from here. So we'll go ahead and we'll equip it. We'll try it out for a little bit. I don't plan on buying any new stuff today or anything, just because I already have so much stuff to level up, I'm sure. But yeah, the last time I played the end zap, I was really bad with it, so I'll be trying to focus super hard on, I, I guess I could have maybe, Learn more about it here. I guess I couldn't have gotten uh, Sheldon's description, so uh, I don't know what that was. Anyways, we can equip that. When it comes to headpieces and stuff, I'll just try to equip whatever might need some leveling up. So the motocross nose guard. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll switch to that. I don't know though. Oh, I don't know how it looks. Maybe we'll do the hat. The hat still needs to be leveled up. What other clothing pieces maybe? Uh, this needs level up. Oh, this shirt, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. Or this one. Actually, I like that one. And then uh, we have plenty of shoes to choose from. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and do the golden ones. They look super duper cool. So we'll go ahead and do a combo like that. Hopefully it works out and we'll be good to continue. So yeah, I'll probably be doing turf takeover because this is a very good turfing weapon, but there's also splat zones. So maybe we'll do like a couple rounds of turf takeover, a couple rounds of splat zones. Overall though, it should be a nice and fun weapon to use. So let us get started. You know what, yeah, we'll do Splat Zones. I haven't played Splat Zones since the episode where I showcased it. I will be super bad because I haven't played in a couple weeks, but sometimes that's the fun of it, right? No? Okay. <laughs> we will search for a battle to join and we'll see what, exactly what we run into. Hopefully something good. But we have Inkbot Art Academy and Sturgeon Shipyard as our two mounts, which are pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty familiar with both of these at this point. It would be cool if maybe we got some maps I wasn't entirely familiar with to learn them a little bit more, some of the more new ones, but that's fine. It is almost February. Uh, I think it's actually January 31st, so I'll be recording more Splatoon soon to uh, hopefully earn up more of whatever thing is available in Salmon Run. And then, if it is new, you know, if it is something I haven't gotten before, I'll try to earn that up. And then, of course, there'll be a new Splatfest. I'm still super mad at myself last, or I guess this month, technically, as I'm recording this, but for you guys, last month, I missed the Superhero Showdown Splatfest because my microphone broke that very weekend and I just couldn't record it. So, that really stunk. I'm definitely not gonna miss this one, I hope, unless my microphone breaks again. Um, but yeah, we should be good to go. Uh, ready, go. All right, so I'm gonna fill up as much as I can. I can definitely tell it has a really great set of range here and can start getting up there a little bit. So yeah, I'll be trying to cover up as much turf as I can, trying to get like a good couple hundred points per round. Counter turfing will be a pretty big thing and I'm already out of ink. I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are there two of them? Oh, I got one, hey, look at me. <laughs> so I do have armor, so I have to be careful here, but I could get out and try to get you a little bit. I can't believe I got that guy. Oh, get you a little bit. Oh, so far, so good. I feel like this is just beginner's luck with this weapon though. All right, get you if I can. Uh, I was knocking you back. The, the long range is really helping me for this map. Okay, I got you a little bit. Oh my gosh, we're on a splat spree right now. Throw down the, wait, wait, wait. Got you. Oh my God, there's four splats. I have, I guess, the suction cup bomb, so this might not be a good situation to be in because I don't really have much ink right now, but we're doing really well. How many points do I have? Um. Where are the points at? Oh yeah, that's right, we're playing Splat Zones. I forgot, I thought we were playing Turf Takeover. Okay, well, that's fine. Where are the zones that we are splatting then? Because that's also getting confusing to me. Um, I thought we were playing Splat Zones. Is this not Splat Zones? I mean, we have an amount remaining. Ow. I don't know, I'm sort of out of, oh no, I see it now, I see it now. I'm just, I, I'm out of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing well apparently, but I'm definitely out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to you. It looks like our team has us in the bag. Yeah, okay, so the, the sort of the uh, slanted uh, trapezoid, yeah, trapezoid shaped bridge here is uh, what we were looking for. We won a KO bonus, that was very, very cool. So I didn't really do too much when it came to uh, 
getting the actual zone there, but that's A-OK -okay because I was sort of in, in turf takeover mode, but I got six splats there, which is insane, which really helped keep them back as we started getting in there, you know? So that was pretty good. It always got us started a little bit. We get our hat leveled up for the third time. I guess I wasn't too far away. Our golden shoes get our their third out of four level ups there. We're gonna continue with what we got, though. I'm actually really happy so far. First round of the day, we already got six splats, so that's really cool. For a weapon, like I said, that usually isn't that great for splatting. It is good for getting out there with the turf, though. I like it. I feel like this would be really good in turf takeover, turf war. I know I get it mixed up with garden war first, turf takeover. How many times will I do that forever, always? Um, maybe we'll do Inkbot Art Academy now? That might be an interesting one. I mean, both of these maps are pretty good for Splat Zone, so neither, neither, or either way, I'm not complaining. But yeah, we're at Inkbot Art Academy. So let's see how quickly we can get out there. I'll try my bomb a little bit more. I didn't really try my armor too much because I got really confused and then I got Splat, it was just over. Well, let's go, come on. All right, so I'm out here first, which is pretty good. I'm gonna fill up on my ink, throw it like, ooh, yeah, like that around the corner. That way, hopefully, people try to get it around like that. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy, probably should've thrown it around this corner then. Okay, so I gotta be careful, but I got you. Oh man, we are on a splatting spree. I mean, I've only gotten splatted once. Oh gosh, okay, so we're in control. No, I couldn't get up in time, because I missed my own ink on the wall. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so that's not a good start. We are in control, but it looks like they're taking, you can sort of see on the top, the meter in the middle shows you how much of the uh, thing we're in control with. I guess when that stays at like half or above, it means we're in control. So I want to continue that control. Throw a bomb like over there, right next to him. So if he tries to turn around, oh, come on. I'm getting surrounded, getting surrounded. Move it, move it. Okay, so they might not know I'm behind them. Ooh, oh hey, try to get you, try to get you. Oh boy, oh boy, he's moving, he's moving, he's grooving. Um, I'm gonna go down, no, come on, I got stuck. Oh, uh, this is not as good as the first round so far. But we are in the lead, it's 54 to 88. I'm just personally not doing that great. The end up's pretty cool. The guys don't know he was in the original Splatoon, and it's a pretty fun Nintendo reference. Of course, the original NES, actually most of them, most of the NESs that were purchased, uh, were pre-packaged with the game, sort of like the Wii was. It was pre-packaged with um, Mario and Duck Hunt, it was like a two-in-one cartridge or something, yeah, and you would have this little toy weapon, the gun, that looks exactly like the end zap does, and you would get the point at your CRT screen. Oh boy, can I help you out, cover up this area around you so you don't get stuck in the ink? Let's get back in control. Why is it, I, I help and then I immediately get taken out. I mean, as long as I can help control the point, I guess that's the most important thing, but we are starting to lose now. Unless we steal back the control and really go with it, we're not gonna win. Um. Come on now, come on. Nobody's in control right now, so nobody's ticking down. But I have good enough range to at least get started with controlling this stuff. Oh my, get you, get you, get you, get you, got you. Ooh, I think my bomb got you there, actually. Come on, get this dude with the brush, because he's really a pain in my booty. Come on, get up here then. Who's up here? You are, ooh, that was good. That was real good. Get the, oh, they got us, so that stinks. So we're one for one. Splat zone games are weird, because sometimes they last a while, sometimes they're pretty quick. But uh, yeah, that time they got the KO bonus. So it's been an, a full on win and a full on loss. That is not what I like to see. But I mean, so far we've done okay. At worst, I mean, I could have done way better there for sure. I will try harder next round with what I've learned. Take it a little bit slower. I gotta remember, I do have a fair amount of range and I have to use that to my advantage. So let's try it again. Okay, so our Inkbot Art Academy once more. It's our time for redemption. Hopefully we can do it. But yeah, you would actually, uh, I guess play as like a duck hunter. You know, it is called duck hunt. And you would uh, basically point the little light gun, I think it was called, at the screen. Eventually they released a new one that had an orange tip so it would have less of a resemblance to an actual weapon, which, you know, fine with me. Uh, and that's actually another weapon called the NZAP 88, maybe? Something like that, like a different, it's just sort of a variation of this weapon, which is actually a nice little touch. That they have both of them. Wow, look at what you do, you got something done over here. Okay, so we gotta be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and try to bomb their area. If we can make it difficult for them to get out here, that's exactly the strategy we wanna impose. So can I get up here? I can't, there's the ledge. All right, well that's fine. I could sneak around this way, and once again, really just try to make it tough for them to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 that guy snuck around me good. He was quick. The dualies, man, the dualies. So this guy, like, you know, he doesn't see all the bombs exploding around him. Somebody's going crazy. I feel like I'm not really using the shield too much here, the armor, but honestly, I've never really been a big fan of the armor for, you know, like, this kind of superpower. 
I don't know, it's just never been too effective for me personally. So, so far we're in control. This guy is getting beat up left and right. I was actually the guy who spotted him. Okay, so they don't notice me right now. So definitely just keep up with decent aim and I should be fine. Oh boy. So yeah, we're ticking this down to zero right now. This is great. How was I not filling up on ink there? Throw that bomb. Wait out, wait out. Oh, that didn't get anybody, but it definitely slowed them down enough that we got the full 100. So another KO. Is every round today just gonna be KO after KO? I'm not sure. But what's funny about the uh, light gun and stuff for the original NES is it actually doesn't work with modern TVs. It's how like the CRT screen and CRT, I don't know what it stands for, but it are those old screens with like the glass screen and it was like sort of like a little bubble almost. You know, the square televisions. I don't think they ever made widescreen CRTs. That'd be weird. Um, but yeah, interesting to think back on those times. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, we should be good to continue. I'm liking the weapon a lot. It's actually pretty good. Okay, so we're back at uh, Sturgeon Shipyard, which last time we were here, we did really good. I, I didn't get out as soon this time, but that's fine, that's fine. Let me get up there. Oh, because they don't see me. Oh, you don't see me, do you? Oh, now you do, now you do. You're gonna get, be out for vengeance. Oh, he tried to go over to my ink. Not really gonna work out too well for you, is it? Let's just go ahead then and try to stay as high on ink as I can. Wow, that was awful. That guy just charged right on through. Neither of us were ready for that. So we took it, but then they're taking it back right now. They're actually, they haven't quite got it to it. Okay, this could be actually an issue. I probably shouldn't have done this. I'm gonna throw a bomb down immediately. That way, hopefully it could just sort of bail me out of any problems we might have here. So this guy is, oh boy, being a pain in the booty. I'm not gonna do that, am I? Okay, I thought I just fell there to my doom. Oh, you were all green, but you're not a green guy. Okay, you were just covered in green. Okay, how about we get rid of you? I got my revenge and double splat as well. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> this map is scaring me right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw a bomb right there. Fill this up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got you. Got a little stuck in our ink, which is good. But yeah, that's why we want to control the turf, not only on the point, but around the point. It makes it harder for them to access it and really get here in any kind of quick fashion. So this guy doesn't quite see me, so I might as well just take him out really quickly. And once again, fill up this turf as much as I can. So this is where obviously, you know, it having really good control over turf is really important because we can just highly control this entire area and fill it back up quicker than they can counterfill it, basically. So let me go ahead and try to deal with you over here. And that's the game, okay, never mind. Ooh, that wouldn't have gotten him if he stayed in place or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty dominant one. I think, once again, a KO bonus. Nothing but KO bonuses so far today. That is just ridiculous. I feel like I want to play uh, some Turf War. So why not? Let's go ahead and play some Turf War. We're only about halfway through the episode. Maybe we should wait until we're at least like at C plus or B rank. It would be cool to get an extra rank up here. I show one of the higher levels in here. B minus. Ooh, I feel like though, if we keep pushing, I could get good ranks. I mean, we're getting good experience and everything. We get another thing here, which is good. More ink. Cool. So maybe we'll keep going. I just get tired of the two map rotation. You know, since I'm used to shooter games where you get to go to any map you want or just any map in the game randomly, sometimes it can be a little disappointing when it's only two. But things should get a bit more difficult now since, since it's not just C ratings, it's uh, all Bs. Which is interesting that I go from C minus to B minus. I don't go C plus. So like, I don't really know what determines that. I guess whatever my performance was when I was playing in the C rank will determine what level of B I get. Like, will I go to A after this? I've never been in A rank in anything. So it'd be cool to work towards today. Anyways, let's keep going. We're just gonna head out as far as we can, as quickly as we can. So go like that. And we could definitely get out there first. Uh, there we go, good start, good start. They're gonna have to chill back, but they're gonna try to get me to, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh man, that stinks. I got one, but then I got, got, not a good mixture. But I think I, I can be, I, I should be able to handle this, hopefully. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, not a little bit risky and everybody else is doing it too. All the cool kids are doing it. Got it. Try to get you a little bit. Our range has really been helpful to take advantage of. Let me fill this up as much as I can and once again fill up this turf. Make it a challenge for them to get over here. So I, we need to really spread our assets a little bit. If we could you know, have some people over there and then some people over here a little bit, that'd be good. Okay, so there is somebody coming on over here. I'm gonna make it really frustrating. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, you sneaky little roller. Oh my gosh. So let's do what we can with this. I don't really know. Oh, that was probably a mistake. This guy's gonna get spotted in a second. I'm done for. Wait, wait, bomb. Oh, yeah, I did throw down the bomb. Wait, yes, it got somebody. <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's an interesting strategy. I'm glad I did that. I panicked. 
Panicking, I guess, sometimes helps. So we are in the lead, but that could actually turn out pretty badly here. If we're not, wait, they're gonna turn it around on me. Once again, though, oh my gosh, they all did their supers there. Some guy was on a jetpack, some guy was using the thingamajig, what is that weapon? I have not seen that one before. Um, we'll try to jump over this guy, I think he has it handled, hopefully. No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. There's like no room to breathe right now. Hold on, I'm out of ink. You do run out of ink rather quickly if you want to combo it with your bomb. That's why I'm not a big fan of this bomb, but obviously it has its uses. It does a lot of damage as well. We're back in control, so I'm quickly gonna hop over there as much as I can. I think getting that one splat at least helped a little bit. I mean, of course, every splat helps. Okay, so definitely fill that turf back up. Okay, I somehow spotted that person. Uh, have a hard time believing that one. I'm gonna once again try to fill up this turf, but I need to fill up myself right now. Oh, hey, oh, hey, leave my teammates alone, maybe. Uh, okay, problems, problems, problems. Got you, or at least I helped get you. So there can be somebody who hops up here. I know that roller is still running. I don't think anybody took that roller out. So I gotta be careful. Oh, 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 here, here, here. Oh my gosh, you almost snuck up on me, you little sneaker. Once again, uh, hold on. Where are you? Where are you? No, you don't, no, don't you dare. So that those did launch, so I gotta be careful. I gotta keep moving. Fill up, fill up, fill up. Oh, 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 okay, I somehow got that. That was crazy. I was a little bit in the air. I was sort of just like jumping. Okay, we did it. That was an intense game already. P-ranking is a lot more engaged, so actually I'm glad we stuck around. Okay, so we won that one. That was not a KO, but pretty close. Oh, no, it was a KO. Maybe I don't know how this works then. Because it was really close. They definitely got some kind of score. All right, I like that round. We did good. We um got top splatter there for sure. 10 spots. It's always fun when we get into the double digits with this game because the rounds are so quick. Oh, maybe you get B plus once you reach that little yellow line. That's what it is. Okay, or something happens there, which will be worthwhile to see. But yeah, we'll keep going. We'll find out what's next, what is on the other side of the corner. I mean, hopefully more wins. I just want to see if we can't get the A rank. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, it's 7 p.m. I guess it's the time for the maps to change. Oh, is the splat zone's gonna change? Y'all know what time it is, it's blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so regular Battle Turf War has some maps here. I don't know, we'll find out what's happening and I'll be back. Okay, so actually it has moved over from Splat Zones to Rainmaker. I won't be playing Rainmaker today because I actually plan on showcasing Rainmaker, Rainmaker next episode because it is the only ranked one I have yet to ha have like a dedicated episode to, so I'll do that next episode. Stay tuned for that, I'll probably record that right after, but it might take me a little while to actually upload it just because there's a lot of games going on nowadays, so I don't know, I always just upload whatever I can even if it's sparingly. But we're continuing with the NZAP action today. Everybody has some crazy weapons there, except for me. I just had the normal NZAP. Everybody's used to that. Okay, but we're turf warring it up now, which is great. I feel like when it comes to turf war, I definitely prefer the classic sort of balloon bombs, but I feel like we can make this work. Let's try to get up there and basically I'm just trying to get out there first, maybe even be able to splat a couple people or just counter turfing can be pretty helpful. Oh, I got you stuck. There we go, that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I gotta be careful though, because now I'm definitely in what could be qualified as enemy territory. Um, I think some of them have some rockets going on or something. We, we, we're doing really well as a team and you're going down, you're going down. Awesome, I got you there. Barely, but but I still got you. Ooh, okay, got up here. I don't think this person quite sees me, so if I could just chill out here for a second to fill up some ink, that'd be really good. Got it. And then I might try to get my armor on and then fill up this turf as much as I can. I feel like that'd be helpful. Huh, I didn't realize there was a platform here. Isn't there, is there normally a platform there? I don't remember that. That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's different on our side of the map? I really can't remember. Maybe I'm just getting that confused, but I really don't remember there being a ramp there. Like, I know there was a ramp here, but the ramp here, I don't remember that. Maybe they changed the map. I don't know, that's weird. Uh, or maybe it's different for Turf Takeover than it is like Clan Blitz. Maybe Clan Blitz doesn't have that ramp. I don't know, maybe the maps might be slightly altered per game mode. That could definitely be a thing. Um. So there's somebody up here. Okay, get him, get him, get him. Got him, no, did I get him? Yeah, I did get them, but they got me. We did pretty good there. Already at 462 points. I wanna definitely focus on point and see how high we can get with that. <laughs> that. That was a shame, but hey, not a shame for me. Oh wow, our area is a very bright yellow. It's all mustarded up, <laughs> or cheesy. Cheesy mustard. I don't know how good that would taste, actually. I wanna revert that statement. I don't, I'm not a big fan of mustard, but I'm not here to talk about my love or distaste for condiments and foods. I'm here to turf with the ink or, or wind turf war, okay? Not very smooth with my words. Ah, oh, oh, okay, move it back, move it back. 
This guy with the brush. The brushes seem to be the scariest thing to go against with this weapon, just because they can definitely swarm me when I'm trying to keep my distance, and that's just not fun. But we are going crazy on these guys. There's not too many more points I can get, because they aren't covering too much turf. Hold on, hold on, holy cow, maybe I spoke too soon. I almost, I really don't see how I'm still kicking right now, because they just, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at me. Now pretty close to throwing that too. All right, plop down here. All right, I got that. Let me pull up my armor now because I know this guy's after me. Ooh, I got him. I got him somehow. I really don't see how I got that guy. I thought the game is just handing me everything in the world right now. I see you moving over here. I see you moving over here. Did I get him? I have no clue what happened. <laughs> Ouch. But uh, we're doing crazy good. 772 points. Even if we finish with that, I'm pretty happy with that score. It's hard to really keep a crazy score when the enemy doesn't have too much competition coming out of here. But actually, they're starting to win, so maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. Wait. Wow, they might have just turned that around. I don't know though. Ooh, right at the end there, they really went crazy. They tried to make a comeback happen. They, okay, they didn't get too close, but given an extra couple seconds, if they kept going in that direction, they clearly would have won. You know what'd be cool is that they always, of course, show the final product on what was inked and everything, it'd be cool if they showed like a time lapse. I feel like that'd be a very fun way to count it up, is by showing a time lapse of how everything was turfed. Oh, that'd be so cool, because then you could see, like it would be really cool when illustrating when there's been like a huge comeback or something. I feel like that'd be a fun feature to add. But uh, yeah, we're doing what we can. Uh, I feel like, you know, it's been fun playing with the end zap. I feel like I've been playing pretty well with it. I definitely enjoy the weapon. I'd love to hear, I haven't asked you guys today, if you do have the end zap 85, what are your thoughts on it? Some strategies you might use? Uh, overall, that kind of stuff, have you used it before? or maybe you don't use it, and there's a reason why you don't. It's worse than the NZAP 88 or something. Or is it 89? It might be 89. I don't know, we'll find out when we play it. But uh, yeah, and on to the next one. Our two maps right now are the one we just played, Starfish Main Stage, and then also Sturgeon Shipyard, which we played earlier today in the other game mode. So, some familiarity. I mean, Starfish Main Stage is one of the most common maps. So that one's pretty easy to stay familiar with. I'm excited to play Rainmaker next episode, though. Because I definitely haven't played that game mode since Platoon 1. But now I'm just waiting for more people to join, and I'm just trying to fill the dead air. But maybe I shouldn't bother. Okay, so we are on the shipyard, which is pretty good. I mean, I haven't messed with this too much, so it'll be good to try it out a little bit. Um, yeah, definitely I'm just gonna try to janitor duty right at the beginning. I think that'd be the most helpful, especially since we can fill up our superpower really gosh darn quick this way, and just get 200 points right off the bat, which is great. I said to be careful, because the enemies are coming out. It does definitely, I feel like ink management is really difficult for this uh, weapon. Of course, that kind of stuff can be slightly changed by the uh, things you have equipped. Okay, so throw a bomb down there, and then while that's sort of doing stuff fall, far off, I'll go ahead and fill up turf in other locations. But I have uh, the shield, I think I'm gonna activate it, because we are getting pretty close to their spawn point. They could be showing up any moment. Um, counter turf, get you a little bit. Oh gosh, she is a dually player, and he is all over the place. Hold on, hold on, hold on, move over there. Move over, wait, 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 hello, sir. Leave me alone, you monster. Hold on, leave my teammates alone. How did I get that person? I don't know. Come on, come on, oh man, my aim was pitiful there. <laughs> Absolutely pitiful, but we're almost at 500 points already. I probably should have just skedaddled. I mean, dually players are pretty good at chasing, so maybe that wouldn't have been a good idea. Wow, how'd they get ink way out here? I don't know, maybe they just got out here, somebody inked them. Oh, see ya, goodbye. <laughs> And then they forgot to recover the turf there. That's fine, I got it, that's why I'm here for my job, to be the janitor. Um, Trying to clean up some of this, so maybe I could sneak down here, this would be the best way to sneak up on somebody. Well, we have most of this area controlled, so I guess not. Uh, Where are you at? You're right here, you're right here, you're right here, come on, come on, come on. Wait, am I really this bad at the game? Am I really this bad at the game? Am I really this bad at the game? Get him! Yeah, this took us long enough, jeez. I mean, mostly my fault there. I'm not gonna blame it on them, because they ended up getting him anyways, but uh. I did not play well. Let's chuck that way up there and try to fill up our turf as we sort of skedaddle to a safer spot. Fill up any turf I can. Like, does this count? I mean, it's not counting, I don't think. Okay, this makes my points go up though, so I guess this counts as turf. We got one minute left. We are in utter control, but we've seen in the last round, you can go into comeback mode at any moment. Come on, come on, come on. Got it, oh gosh, it's a bomb. Well, that really slowed me down. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a smoke. Not fun, not fun. I gotta be careful, I'm trying to pay attention to the map, make sure none of them are like backdooring us. Because that's sort of something that can happen quite often in Splatoon Turf War, is that right when you think you're about to win, you notice that there's just like two or three guys at your base. Okay, that guy might get splotted. Oh, he didn't, look at that. Okay, got you. 
Uh, we are like right up there. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, get you, get you, because this guy definitely could be trying to backdoor us. Once again, you gotta look out for that. How is our backdoor looking right now? Pretty good, there are people back there, so. We are like really controlling this right now though, and we are doing fantastic. Fill this up, fill this up, fill this up. Got it. Move back over here. 10 seconds left, I think we got it then. Ooh, got that. Fill up this ramp. Get down here. Okay, sir, who is it? Who is it? He got spotted, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we did fantastic there. We controlled them the entire game. They only got their spawn area covered. We really couldn't get up there too easily anyways in this map. 70 to 23, that is a crazy score. Enzap is really good for this. Okay, so, uh, 1800 points, not bad. I wanna hit the big 2K. Oh, they had two disconnected players there? Oh, that's a shame. I'm so sorry to hear it. Now it sort of makes a little bit more sense. I think they disconnected during the game now. So we got our shoes all maxed out. We just need to max out our shirt. Or was it, yeah, I think it was the shirt, not the hat. Either way, I will have fun doing it. We'll do at least one more round today, and then we'll be good. Okay, last round of the day, let's win, hopefully. They almost beat us last round on this map, but we ended up winning. We've, we're 2 0 for Turf War today, which is pretty good. I will throw this bomb like right down there. That's not a bad placement, actually. And then we can get over here, fill up some of their turf before they even get here. Oh, hey, 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 sorry, sorry, but that ain't gonna happen this time. Where is this guy at? I know there's somebody down here. Okay, maybe a little bit of a mistake, maybe a little bit ahead of my own self right now. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying I might be in for too much. But we got this like little corner over here controlled, which is really good. I could try to, ooh, ooh, man. That was like totally by accident, but a happy accident. I love happy accidents. Oh, hey, bomb, be careful, be careful. So I do have my armor ready to go whenever I need it, which might be soon. We are just like deep in enemy territory right now. Armor, armor, oh gosh. So right now they're not even able to get out of here, which is a shame for them. I mean, they might be able to turn around. I gotta be careful, but staying on the upground like this might be helpful. If I could, big jump on over here and fill this stuff up. They really are not doing too good of a job fighting back right now. I'm not trying to be mean to them. So there's a guy over there. I do see him back there. Um, I could get up here pretty easily, actually. Like, surprise! Oh boy, gotta be careful, he's a dually player, because he could have definitely taken me out there rather quickly. He or she, I didn't really see, but uh, we'll try to get up there. Oh, 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 gotcha. Wow, a lot of dually players. I feel like that's not gonna be too good for their team to have that many duallys. I mean, there is a roller here. Oh gosh, I'm falling. Move it back over here. Once again though, we gotta stay on them in the, the entire game because it's not about total points in Turf War. It's about what happens when the buzzer rings. So, how things are then is what's gonna be the most important. So let me go ahead and, ah! Oh my gosh, it almost ended me. Almost ended me. Let me fill up as much as I can. Throw a bomb down there. Oh, I see you up here. You don't quite see me. Got you on the way down, which is great. Let's get the armor out and try to clean up some of this then. Ooh, ooh. Man, we are like splatting champions right now. This is like, if I don't get, the uh, top splatter, I'm gonna be really, really surprised. I mean, I would like to get more points in this, but once again, they don't really have too many, but that's sort of the thing. It's hard to get 2,000 points because usually if you're turfing that much, you're probably winning really badly, like, or really well, you know, depending on your perspective. But, um, but if you're winning really well, they're not gonna have too much of an opportunity to splat that much. So, it gets to be a difficult situation. That's the first time I have been splatted. Um, in this round, so that's pretty crazy. NZAP 85 is really useful for Turf War, and I love it. I love every second of it. Let us get back up here if we can, because obviously plenty of Turf to cover. If I could at least get the same score as last time, which of course was uh, 800, I don't know, it might be a little bit difficult given this situation. Um, try to get some of that Turf up there. Oh, throw a bomb if I can, I can't. That's fine, oh boy. I'm just trying to turf anything, anything, no! Ah, oh, it's not gonna be 800, but that's fine. I did what I could. Let's see what we get. So yeah, they were trying to backdoor a little bit there. You can see somebody snuck around the side, but we seem to have decent enough control. 47 to 31, not as much of a clean sweep as last round, but we had a lot of good rounds in today's episode with the end zap, both on splat zones and now on turf war. We did pretty gosh darn good. Eight splats, I actually wasn't the top splatter, but uh, I definitely slowed down on the second half of that game. The first half was insane. They're just splat after splat after splat. So there we go. I'm, I'm happy with that.
So there is our look at the NZAP85. As I said throughout today's episode, a very fun weapon for turf controlling specific game modes. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the weapon, if you've used it before, your strategies with it, all that kind of stuff. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Splatoon Tune. If you watch this for the video, make sure you comment Zebra Zap so I know you've watched the end that you are a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.